Kell Brook wants some of that Terrence Crawford smoke, and it looks like that fight just might be happening next, and I want to talk about it right here on Gym Boxing. <laughs> Kell Brook was scheduled to fight on the Anthony Joshua versus Andy Ruiz undercard. That event takes place on June 1st, okay? But that contest was called off after Brook opted to remain on the shelf until a mega fight come along. It appears he's looking for a big fight with possibly Terrence Crawford. And I want to talk about it before I jump into this conversation. I want to welcome back the Gym Boxing family. Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, please feel free to subscribe. Hit the bell icon. Um, that way you won't miss videos. And also follow me on all social media platforms at Gym Boxing. Uh, we know Terrence Crawford uh, and Amir Khan just recently had a pay-per-view fight, which did... Uh, you know, below average numbers on pay-per-view, right? And Kell Brooks showed up to this fight, you know, with the interest to face the winner out of Terrence Crawford versus Amir Khan. Now, the the uh, Brook versus Khan fight should have happened a long time ago, okay? I think Kell Brook been trying to make the fight with Amir Khan many years now, and it seems like Amir Khan has been putting that fight off. Um, for whatever reason, okay, he seems like he feels like that fight is always going to be there. Their hometown rivals, and I guess he feels like that fight is always going to be on the table, man. But in my personal opinion, you know, since Khan, you know, caught a couple more L's, man, it's, it's looking like that fight, the interest of that fight is just not there anymore, especially for the guys in America. Like, we really, not really looking forward to see Amir Khan versus Kell Brook, okay? Kell Brook had got two eye injuries one from one from um triple g and the other one from Errol spence jr and he's caught some pretty decent l's man he hasn't really looked the same uh you know the same fighter since then and now you know amir khan is out here catching l's he got knocked out by by canelo he got uh stopped by you know uh terrence crawford just a couple weeks ago with a low blow, it looks like he was getting outboxed and he was looking for a way out. So, I mean, that's a fight that really nobody is really, really checking for, to, to be totally honest with you. I mean, if it came on, I mean, I'll watch it, but I don't really see myself paying big money to see Kell Brook versus Amir Khan, just being totally honest with you. Um, now, on the other hand, you know, Kell Brook is looking for a big fight and he looks like he's trying to see if he can't make that fight with Crawford and I don't really mind seeing that fight you know what I'm saying I don't really mind uh seeing that fight a couple of the reasons why is because Errol Spence already fought Kell Brook we saw what that fight looked like Kell Brook had some success early in the fight until Errol Spence took him late and got him up out of there right so the fact that the, the super fight in the world to weight division that everybody wants to see is Errol Spence versus Terrence Crawford um, I think that'll add a little bit more interest to the fight, you know, if Crawford can go in there and fight the same guy that Errol Spence fought. Now, you're going to have people that say, oh, those Errol Spence's leftovers, those are Triple G's leftovers. I get it. Um, but at the same time, you know, it's always interesting when two future opponents have shared opponents, you know what I'm saying, in the past. And that way you can look to see how both of these fighters looked against them. And I think that'll be pretty interesting to see how Kell Brook would do versus um versus, versus um, Terrence Crawford. You know what I'm saying? I think that that's a de decent little matchup, man. I, I would have to lean towards Terrence Crawford. I think he's the best, uh, one of the best skilled fighters out there in boxing, if not the pound for pound number one, right? So, and we know Kell Brook is, is big for 147 pounds. It would take him a lot to try and squeeze down to make that weight. Uh, we've seen him have issues making that weight in the past, especially after he went up and fought Triple G. Um, so, you know, I think that'll be a good matchup, man. Uh, between these two this is what he said he says he's not fighting on june 1st this is eddie hearn everybody's favorite promoter he says he wants to jump into a mega fight now he wants terrence crawford now we'll see amir khan if the amir khan fight can ever materialize it's a big fight and it's still the fight people want to see but see me i disagree with that i don't think that's the fight people really want to see i mean i think i think if it happens it happens we'll watch it but I don't think that's a fight that we pressing for in the welterweight division, just being totally honest. Um, he says Khan didn't really take a lot of damage in the Crawford fight apart from the nuts. 
now uh, we have to see. Now, even in the Terrence Crawford fight, you know, that whole stoppage situation, I don't think, I know it was a low blow, but I don't think he really got hit on the nuts like that. Like when they showed a replay, it looked like he hit him on the side of the leg. And I remember Terrence Crawford saying that in the post fight. You know, he basically hit him on the leg and then he uh, was looking for a way out, man. Uh, but I thought he could have, you know, took the, the full five minutes, you know, took the rest and, and continue fighting, man. You know, that's you're a warrior. A lot of people spent money to watch this. And um, and then you just go ahead and, 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 you know, slide out of there in the sixth round, man. So, But anyway, he says, but Kel wants Crawford. He wants Kai. He wants any major fight. And I don't think he can get himself motivated for anything else. There hasn't been any conversation since the Crawford fight. So um, we'll see, man. We'll see what Bob Arum and Terrence Crawford and his team, we'll see what they, what, what they want to do. Um, but in my personal opinion, there's not really – that many more high profile fights for, for Terrence Crawford over there where he's at. That's been a discussion of topic is that Terrence Crawford, you know, is basically the only person over there, you know, with top ranking in ESPN, man. There's not really that many fights that he can fight where the, the real boxer fans are, are going to be, you know, excited about. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's the issue that Terrence Crawford had. I think when he re signed with top rank, I think that was, uh, him taking a gamble on that Errol Spence fight, you know, try to make a big fight with him. And I think that's what he was uh, was thinking when he resigned, it's, you know, similar to how Pacquiao and uh, Floyd Mayweather did, where they had a super fight where both networks came together. I think that's what Terrence Crawford had in mind when he resigned. But that's just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes down to Terrence Crawford facing Kell Brook, there's nothing set in stone about it. This is all still a thought, but it seems like Kell Brook, uh, is gonna push for that fight. You know, he showed up to the um, to the the, the con fight. You know, looking to see what he can make happen, man. So I think that's a a good look for him if he's definitely trying to get that fight and uh, you know come to the negotiating table. I mean, I would imagine Kell Brook puts up a better fight than Amir Khan did. I mean, Amir Khan looked like he was trying to do something in the first few rounds, man, but he definitely got outboxed. Uh, I imagine Kell Brook would would look a little bit better in there versus uh Crawford uh, I would imagine he would probably try to last and go to distance I think he's probably a tougher fighter when it comes down to you know just willpower uh not really heart because I know I know uh before the Terrence Crawford fight Amir Khan always looked at as having a big heart man but I don't really know what happened in the Terrence Crawford fight maybe he was just embarrassed he was getting outboxed you know there's always been a lot of talk about how Amir Khan never got outboxed um you know, he's always winning on the scorecards before he gets knocked out. But I think this is the first time that Terrence Crawford outboxed him. And I even made a video talking about that before the fight that I had a feeling that Terrence Crawford might just come in here and outbox uh, uh, Amir Khan and get him up out of there, man. And, and lo and behold, that's what happened. So I imagine Kell Brook doesn't quit in the sixth round. I think it'll be a much tougher fight. Um, but I still have Terrence Crawford. Uh, you know, probably getting him out of there later or, or just, you know, just outclassing Kell Brook completely. I don't think Kell Brook will be able to lean on Crawford. I don't think Kell Brook will be able to, you know, do what he really won and hold him like he was doing Sean Porter. I think, um, I think Terrence Crawford is good enough, strong enough, and he got enough dog in him to really make things tough for Kell Brook, man. So I would have uh, Terrence Crawford possibly stopping Kell Brook late. Um, who knows how his eyes is going to hold up We know he had those two surgeries I don't know if that strengthened his eyes Or, or made his, his, structure, his face structure weaker I don't know man I'm no doctor But anyway uh, I don't want to go too much longer on this video I just wanted to chop it up with y'all about this Y'all let me know y'all thoughts down in the comment section Is this a fight that you guys would care to see um, You know would you pay for it Would it be on pay per view Or would it be just a regular fight Man y'all let me know y'all thoughts down in the comment section This your boy get a mic This is Jim Boxing we have some new stuff coming to the channel as well, man. So y'all stick around. We're going to try and put together some sort of a show that we're going to do probably a few days a week. Um, but more details coming up on that once we get everything put together, man. I know y'all probably seen me doing a few tests on the channel uh, here coming soon. We're trying to make it professional, man. So thank everybody that's been supporting the channel. Make sure y'all smash the like button. Hit the subscribe and the bell icon on the way out. Follow your boy on all social media platforms at Jim Boxing. And I'll be out of here. Peace.